Hi guys, this is Norm. Here I am with an update on the War Pig project. As you can see, there's a lot more on the vehicle this time around. Uh, I've been quite busy. Um, there was a lot of uh, cutting and sanding and painting done in the last few weeks. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of work guys to uh, prep all these little pieces and, and so forth. So This is where I'm at now. Uh, not everything is glued in place and if it is it's with white glue so I can easily pop it out and move it. But basically this is what the, the look uh, will turn out to be. Uh, what I'm left with to do is the radio suite that goes in between the two seats in the front. A couple computers uh, on the passenger side and also the crew serve weapon at the back which I don't know still if I'm doing a Mark 19 grenade launcher or a 50 cal. I have the 50 cal from uh, this kit and uh, it looks alright but uh, a Mark 19 uh, could uh, also look uh, pretty good. I also seen them with mini guns. Uh, it's it's to be considered. I don't know yet. Um, I have still quite a few pieces to go on or to swap around. So uh, that's what I'm doing and mixing and matching until I'm satisfied with the load. Um, I have a crew from Legend that I might be using because they're using computers and also there's a driver and a 50 cal uh, gunner. So that could be used in here. I have all my cargo straps to build. That's uh, I think they're like 20 pieces per ratchet. So that's going to be a lot of work. Um, and the uh, radio suite, it's comprised of these three boxes. Uh, radio tray, power converter, Singar's VHF radio suite and also UHF and HF sets and SATCOMs from uh, another set. So that's going to be a lot of work and a lot of wiring obviously. I got some decals uh, from Echelon for the uh, jerry cans. They're the flammable lozenges that you see on uh, fuel uh, canisters. And what else do I have? Um, that's about it. So I'll, let, uh, I'll share with you some uh, high def uh, pictures I've taken of this uh, model. Um, I'm using a program called Hilicon, which enables your DSLR camera, either an Icon or a Canon, to uh, take uh, staggered uh, pictures at different focus points and then merge them together to give you an extra clear pictures. Um, if people take pictures with their phones or an Instacam, uh, it kind of does an average focus and with a DSLR it's very hard to have a a good focus all the way through. There is a depth of field um, zone where something will be in focus and other parts will be out of focus and I want to um, avoid that uh, while using my DSLR and I found this program very useful. Uh, it could be pricey but you can um, use a demo version of Helicon uh, Focus and, and you can try to do focus stacking which is called and uh, it gives good results so if you want to submit pictures to magazines and stuff like that I would suggest that you do that so anyway you have a good Christmas guys and Norm signing off